So loot is a massive part of looter shooters. Game developers understand it's what drives many people in continuing to play their games. The loot has to be worth chasing. It has to be worth customizing. It has to be worth upgrading. Outriders, the latest in the looter shooter genre, is right around the corner. It too offering great loot, I thought it would be a good idea to accumulate what we know and have seen in terms of legendaries, this game's exotic, and bring them to you guys in an all-in-one legendary weapon showcase video. Like I said, legendaries are this game's top tier rarity, this game's exotic. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So within Outriders, Legendary is that highest tier of loot. The legendaries are that end game chase and over the course of time in which people can fly have shared footage of this game, they have also included that said end game loot and today we check out every legendary weapon we know of so far. Now details on some of these are not properly known yet, but what we do know I will cover. Another important thing to mention is, this game includes an in-depth upgrade system which sees you being able to upgrade certain weapons through the rarity ranks, making some lower tiered weapons actually legendary. These for the most part we will ignore besides one demonstration later on in the video, as today it's all about actual legendary weapons and those that only come as legendaries. So getting to know what makes a legendary is different is quite important, so I'll quickly go through it. So within rare, epic and legendary weapons they have mod slots, rares have one mod slot, epics and legendaries have two mod slots, however legendary gear comes with its own dedicated highly powerful mod, these mods are tier 3s where there's three tiers of mods, legendary exclusives are tier 3s, everything else is tier 2 or 1. Any weapon with two mod slots, so legendaries or epics, you can replace one mod with another mod, that's completely up to you. And mods become available when you dismantle said item that mod is tied to. But yeah, the main difference between legendaries and lower tier weapons is, legendaries have their own unique tier 3 mod. So let's get into the weapons people, and firstly we have the Absolute Zero. This is an assault rifle. And look at it with this item level which, like every weapon we will see today, can be maxed out at a level 50. But these stats are not static and can be upgraded obviously, or come higher, so looking at such and mentioning the values is pointless right now. We can see this legendary specific mod is though, ultimate freezing bullets. Shots inflict freeze on enemies, pretty cool guys. Ok so next up we have the Amber Vault. The legendary double gun, man this looks great, that kind of bony cloth abomination <laughs> looking unreal. This legendary's unique mod is called killing spree, killing shots increase damage by 30% for this weapon for 30 seconds, bonus deteriorates with time and stacks up to 5 kills, pretty cool. Next up guys we have the grim marrow, wow look at this thing. I thought the last one was crazy looking, man this is on another level. So this is a light machine gun and its unique mod is called Singularity. Killing shots create an anomaly Singularity. When destroyed the Singularity explodes dealing a certain amount of damage to enemies within a 6.5 meter radius. Awesome. Next up guys we have the iceberg. And man I love the look of this thing, these just get better and better. So this bolt action rifle, which I'm pretty certain is this game's name for a sniper, comes with a unique mod called Winter Blast. Critical shots create an icy blast that inflicts freeze on enemies within a 4 meter radius. I cannot wait to use these people. Next up guys we have the migraine, which is a submachine gun. This weapon which looks like a mutated rack of ribs is like nothing I've ever seen. The weapon's unique mod is called Ultimate Bleeding Bullets. Shots inflict bleed on enemies, nasty. Next up guys we have this crazy unique assault rifle called the Thunderbird. I mean, these weapons are just all incredible, I mean I've said that about every single one but they just get better and better. So this one's unique mod is called the Ultimate Storm Whip. Shots bring down lightning on an enemy dealing said damage, amazing. And next up guys we have the Voodoo Matchmaker. This is a legendary assault rifle. And again guys, incredible. So this one's unique mod is called Ultimate Damage Link. 
shots link up to 3 enemies, sharing 30% of their weapon damage dealt and 10% of their anomaly damage dealt. Awesome. Ok so next up guys we have this one I found within gameplay. This is the only image we have of it right now and it's called the Animar. It's a legendary automatic shotgun now of R, and that sounds cool by itself, but its unique mod is called Morning Winds. Reloading creates a strong blast around you dealing so much damage to enemies in a range of 8 meters. This one has a 2 second cooldown. Nice. Next up guys we have the Golem's Limb. This legendary pump action shotgun I think you will agree looks incredible. Its unique mod is called Golem Rising. Killing shots grant you a protective golem effect for 3 seconds. Wow. Ok so next up guys we have the Molten Idola. This is a legendary rifle and it again looks incredible. Look at those embedded schools within that framework. Amazing. This thing's unique mod is called Ravenous Locust. Shots create a swarm of locusts dealing said damage over 15 seconds and inflicting weakness to enemies remaining within a 6 meter radius of that target with a cooldown of 2 seconds. How amazing does that sound guys? So before we get into other legendaries or spite from gameplays and trailers which we don't know the names of or what they do yet, I will showcase you a weapon which has itself been upgraded to that legendary status. So we can see this one on screen now, this is a white common weapon this dude is using. Obviously the user has liked it and the way in which it performs and accumulated the right resources to upgrade it to a legendary which you can see on screen now. This way its power goes up and you can also apply 2 mods to it, amazing. Ok so now we have weapons which are just too incredible looking not to be legendaries. So first up we have this beast, I have no idea what it is but rocking those elephant tusks at the front it sure as heck looks like a beast. The one on the left of this video we see some insane looking pirate kind of shotgun, look at that cannon on the front of it, looks on another level for sure. And we see it again right here where it's accompanied by another incredible looking weapon we don't yet know the name of or what it does. We then see this outstanding looking well I first thought it was a sniper but I actually think this is a shotgun. Again we have no idea what this thing is called or what it does but I bet it's pretty badass. Next guys we have 3 legendaries this player is using. Now I don't know if these are upgraded but I'm certain this one here is not and it is a unique legendary. As we see within this other snippet where it's pulsating with an amazing looking aura and slight electricity. But yeah guys there we have it, the stash of legendaries I could find footage on. But let's not end the video there, I just want to quickly mention how amazing the customization is in terms of upgrading weapons in this game. And I think you all love this. So the legendaries we have covered today all have unique legendary mods exclusive to those legendaries right? Well. If you dismantle that legendary, for instance say you find a better version later on, so you dismantle the older version, you actually learn that specific mod exclusive to that legendary weapon. What you can do is then guys, apply that same mod to another legendary weapon, so that one legendary weapon can rock two incredible mods offering the best of two incredible legendaries. I mean how cool is that? Yeah I know it's badass. And there we have it guys, all the legendaries I could find footage on and what we've seen so far and I hope you enjoyed the video. And on that note we have come to the end, if you did enjoy it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.